Hi gang, Rob here. It's the evening of 26 July 2015 and got kind of a cool little video for you tonight. You guys might remember last week I did a couple knife sales for the estate of a brother of a dear friend of mine and uh, sold quite a few of those knives. Thank you very much for your support and I hope you, you guys who bought them uh, enjoy them. There was one knife that... Uh, you know, it probably wouldn't be a knife I'd ever look for as a collector. And it didn't sell. And it was an old traditional pocket knife, a dogleg Stockman, that I thought was in pretty good shape. Uh, it was a little ugly. And uh, it looked like it had most of its blades all there. And the handle seemed to be in pretty good shape. It is an old timer from Schrade um, and I'm going to show you some pictures of the knife as it was in the sale before I remove the blue microfiber cloth and show you what it looks like now so here take a look I'll take some good shots of the uh, the whole handle and then try to show you the blades individually before I show you what's underneath the cloth take a look this knife will clean up really well uh, the muskrat clip has been, eh, you know, sharpened like Mr. Griffin sharpened. But there's still a lot of steel left. The sheep's foot, again, a little messy. But mostly there. And sort of a little mini spay. He didn't use his spay blades much, did he? Because this one's really all there. Um, and no side play in any of these blades. I think the walk and talk will be extremely good with a little cleaning. Pretty cool knife. Okay, so what I have to show you now is what happens when you, you know, you just pick up an old knife and you have an idea and you've got some time on a Sunday afternoon and what starts as an experiment <laughs> uh, three hours later turns out to be a finished project so here it is guys take a look this is the same Schrade old timer dogleg stockman or serpentine stockman with saw cut Delrin covers, nickel silver bolsters, brass liners, carbon steel blades. So it's coming close. All I did to these bolsters was polish them with flits. I didn't really remove any material or take out any deep necks. So you'll see they're not perfectly smooth, but they are shiny. The old timer shield, which I believe is probably glued is very well fitted and it polished up nicely as well you can see the saw cut Delrin covers are in very nice condition all the transitions are really nice no shrinkage no gaps in the Delrin. It just looks beautiful, doesn't it? Now let's uh, take a look at these blades. Here is the secondary spay. And you can see what I did to these is I just re-satined them. Took out most of the took off all the rust and most of the pitting. I, I did leave some deep scratches. You'll see them here and there. but It's not a new knife. And then I re ricassoed them and put an edge on them. And I think it came out rather beautiful. Uh, that little spay blade came out nicely. You can see there was a lot of blade left in all three of these. Here's the secondary sheep's foot. Now, to do this satin, and a lot of this depends on how bad a shape the blades are in, but what I did with these was just a, a, a piece of 220 sandpaper, 
on a softish leather strap just resetting the blades and the, you know, the main bevels, the tangs and the spines and then all three of these blades have a hand drawn swedge, very slight can't forget to refinish that too so I just did all that and then put an edge on and then here's the main muskrat clip better give that a good wipe for you. this blade was in the worst shape of the three and as you'll remember most of the knives out of this collection uh, had a lot of material removed from the tip area from prior sharpening this one was no exception but it satined up very nicely I did have to regrind the kick on this knife because after I sharpened it the tip of that muskrat clip blade was above the surface of the of the liner so I had to drop it down a little deeper into the frame get everything open for you here so you can see I don't know if the other video showed this blade well very well but it was just packed with like sawdust and garbage and didn't really get too aggressive in there except a good cleaning and re-oiling you'll notice all three of these blades have superb walk and talk for kind of an entry level traditional knife probably of the I don't know mid 70s to mid 80s Let's see if I can get a shot of this tang stamp on the main blade Let's see if any of you guys can uh, identify the vintage of this knife I didn't really research it I just thought you know what it's not a valuable enough knife that any uh, any way I alter it is going to affect its long-term value I thought you know I'm just going to make it into a nice little carry knife and I think I have I sort of prefer satin I kind of think it came with the uh, polished blades from the factory but you know me I'm a satin no etch kind of guy so that's what we got zero side play in any of these blades and as I said superb walk and talk no half stops on this guy let's see our springs are all flush closed With the muskrat clip open, my back spring is just a little proud. My sheep's foot, it as well is just a little proud. And, oops. The spay is about flush. Let's take a look at how the back springs terminate. That's the space spring. It's nice and straight across. Very nice. My centering and my blade alignment is pretty good except for that muskrat clip which is all the way over against the liner. I tried to bend it but it's got a lot of spring in it. I don't want to risk breaking it. It does not seem to uh, hit in such a way that it mars the blade. So the scratches were already there. Ones I didn't quite take out. I might be rubbing a little bit. Who cares? Listen to that. Snaps like a gator's mouth. So I'm going to have to mark this one no longer for sale. Because <laughs> I'm not going to part with it. This is going in the collection. What a sweet old knife. Just thought you guys would like to see it before it goes up on its uh, on its carpeted shelf in the uh, gun and knife safe. That's all for tonight. Thanks for watching, guys. Rest to you in peace.
from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And remember, the word is sharp. <laughs>